Before you send your kids off to school tomorrow, warn them about strangers, especially if you live in Shawnee. Lisa Vincent talked to investigators earlier today there about what happened and what you should be looking out for. I talked to neighbors who were surprised to learn that Shawnee police are investigating two attempted abductions within a one week time period. And the most recent incident happened right here behind me near 74th and Bond. On Friday, a sixth grader at Shawano Elementary School reported that a man in a 2000 model SUV approached him and tried to force him into his vehicle. The boy said he ran from the scene to his home where his mother called police. Although shaken, he's a uh, described as a, a very bright young man and, and uh, very forthcoming with the information that he has. We see him and we kind of will watch him a lot closer. Last Friday, a 12 year old walking to school near Lackman and 67th Street reported a similar situation. She said two men confronted her as she walked to school. She too was able to run away. We encourage parents to talk to their kids about their, about their children's safety about the fact that if they are confronted, they should make as much noise and scream and get to a neighbor's house or attract someone's attention. Police have a very detailed description of the man. He's described as a black man between 28 and 35 years old, 5'10", weighing 150 to 175 pounds. He has shoulder length dreadlocks, possibly with beads woven in. He has a scar on his left arm and a tattoo on his upper right arm. He also may have some gold caps on his teeth. If you have any information on this suspect, contact police. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.